Hey, hey, y'all. It's Michelle from Monkey's Creations. Come on in. Come on in. We are going to do a beehive wreath today. Look how cute that metal sign is. Is that not adorable? We are going to be using the oval board from Unique in the Creek. Um, I've got some black horizontal white stripe cut at 36 inches. I've got this cute ribbon. Hi, hi. And then we might, y'all, I'm still trying to throw in these flowers somewhere. We might throw in some flowers. So I've got them out again. May or may not. Who knows? But I still get tons of questions about how you load this board. So I have left this board blank. Good morning, everybody. I miss you too. Um, about how to load the boards. So let me bring everybody down. This one will only take 10 zip ties. So I was like, this would be a perfect video to show y'all um, because it's only 10, right? We can all do 10. So on this one, we are doing every other set of holes. Okay, so here, skip, here, skip, here, skip, all the way around. So there's 20 sets. We are only doing 10, y'all. So I do, what do I do? I do the inside. <laughs> I do the inside. So we're going to take our zip tie. Flat end goes up to the ceiling. Um, square end goes down to the floor. Okay, and then all we do is go down one hole and right up the next. And then depending on what pedal you're doing or ruffle or whatever, um, will depend on whether you open or close these or leave them open or close them. Okay, so we're going to skip down one up the next. Hello, hello. How's Big Daddy? Big Daddy is perfect, y'all. Skip, go. Um, I don't know how that thing fell and did not break, but it did not. Down and up. Now, once you get, once you've used these so many times, you can kind of just feel how it is in your hand. And you know how to put it in the board without even looking. Um, so it doesn't take me but a minute um, to get these in. Just because I can just feel by the way the zip tie is um, how it goes in. So I generally don't even have to look. Okay. See how easy that was? Thanks for the gifts, TikTok. I appreciate it. Could see the key bridged. Oh, wow. Okay. So this is going to go kind of right here, maybe at a slight angle. Um, actually, maybe this way so that I can put a bow here so it doesn't cover up that cute little bee. Okay. So let me get this out of your way. Y'all, today was one of those days I could not, for the life of me, figure out what I was going to do live. I, I was talking to my cousin and I kept pulling out signs. I could do this one and I'd look and I'm now pick another one. And then I came across the B sign that hide and I was like, there we go. There is a pipe cleaner lovers too and you would load the same way. Absolutely. Absolutely. You can do pipe cleaners the same way. So I have cut... This piece of mesh, it is horizontal wide stripe at 36 inches. I just used a rotary cutter, y'all, um, because all of the cut edges are going to be inside. So you don't have to worry about them fraying. Okay. So inside of a mesh roller. Okay. Right here is our cut edge. So down is one. Down again is two. And then we're just going to pull it out, pinch, 
grab a clip. Good morning. Good morning. If y'all float my boat, I'd appreciate it. TikTok, I finally got over 4,000 followers. Thank y'all so much. Okay, we're going to do the same thing to this end. So we have one, two, and we're going to pinch it and then scrunch from one end to the other. Okay. Y'all, I'm a counter and all of mine have the same number of scrunches. So I have seven. <laughs> and there we go. So you can either put it in like this with the curved curl side up, or you can turn it over and put it the curl side down. Has to speak to you. Who has to speak to me? Somebody has to speak to me. Talk to me. Um, so I've, I've, also, I've, I've, um, I've really liked the curve side down lately. I don't know why. They could literally go either way. Okay. So, because of how we're putting our sign. right here is not getting any tails okay the wreath you're making oh well okay. exactly it does it has to like scream at you to make me <laughs> so this one is not this is not a kit um for um i will have a new kit tomorrow for y'all um and i can show you the center remind me when i'm almost done so this one is only getting mesh because our bow is going to go right here. So we're going to start there. Yeah, remind me and I will show you the center for the next kit. Let's get this thing out of our way. Otherwise, I'm going to be cussing in a minute. Okay. And then now we're going to start our tails. All my tails are cut at 14 inches. Look how cute that's going to be. So we're going to go ahead and get our tails ready. I'm just putting one right on top of the other, folding it to find our middle. And scrunching it just like that. I know, aren't these ribbons cool? Okay, so now our ribbons we can add at the same time as our mesh. Okay, so we'll just take our mesh. I could just kind of bring this up. Put that right in the zip tie. Add our ribbons and zip it together. Good morning, good morning. That flew somewhere. <laughs> Did I say where I got the ribbons? I did not. Um, I know I got the yellow and black from Craft Outlet. The B ribbon I've had for a minute. Um, so I would say Craft Outlet as well. You can try Unique in the Creek. They may have it. You're changing my kitchen from apples to bees. Awesome. Oh, look how cute that is, y'all. All right, let's rock and roll this one out. Thanks for floating my boat. I appreciate it. Maybe one curl side up and one curl side down. Yep, you could definitely do those. Are those the new wreath boards? You've never seen these? 
These are amazing. They've been around for about five years now. Um, you know, she's always coming up with, with new shapes. I think the, the oval's been around a couple years, um, but they are unique in the Creek um, boards. Um, so you can get them unique in the Creek.com. You can get them from Ranch House Reese and more on Etsy. Um, you can get them from Amazon. There's so many places you can get them. but they make it so easy to put a wreath together. It's like she's already done the hard work for us by putting the holes. We just have to figure out our design. Add your zip ties, add your pipe cleaners, whatever you wanna use and go at it. Now here, a lot of y'all, y'all think I'm cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, but I'm telling you just about everything I do has a reason. So when I'm doing these types of wreaths, you can see that I'm taking my zip tie gun and angling it this way, because watch what happens when I do. Watch the ribbon and see what that ribbon does. See how it's lifting that ribbon? So angling it that way automatically kind of lifts my ribbon and gets it going in the right direction. Always a method to my madness, y'all. There's your tip for the day. You need a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do those beautiful bows. Um, I don't know if I have one on YouTube. I know I have a lot in my in the VIP group. Um but I do not think I have a true step-by-step -step on YouTube, but in the VIP group, definitely. Where does the VIP group meet? It meets on Facebook. We have a um, private group. Um, and there are one, two, three, four, five. Ah, five designers in that group. Okay, why isn't it? Okay, it's not going. Hold on. There we go. I can get that. See, I, there we go. No, nope, it still didn't click. Hold on. Okay. What in the world? There we go. <laughs> you can use Michelle's affiliate link and use the code to get 5% off. Absolutely. Just using my affiliate link, you'll get 5% um, off your boards. What time do you go on? Um, in the VIP group, I am up every other Saturday. Um, we have on Mondays, we have chit chat where you can literally ask us anything. We may or may not answer. Let me clarify that. <laughs> um, Tuesdays. Every other Tuesday, Dre from Ranch House goes on. She is our floral whisperer. Um, Wednesday or Thursdays, we have wreath critique. So if you have a wreath that's not selling or a wreath you're just looking at that something's just not right, um, you can post it in there. We can all help you out. Um, Friday, every other Friday, we have a fake bake. We have Charlotte with country butterfly creations and we have shelby with t-rex designs so they are on um one of them's on every friday 
to teach y'all all about bake baking. Um, every other Saturday I'm on and every other Sunday Lori is on and Lori is the inventor of the unique in the Creek board y'all. So you get to learn from the girl herself. So we're live a lot in that group during the week. And in that group, we encourage you to go live for your first time. So if you're interested in going live, you can go live in the group to kind of get your feet wet. Um, so all kinds of things. And um, the VIP group is $27 a month. But for five designers, that's a steal. A steal. Yeah, then there's all kinds of extras like you for from me, the VIP group is the had the first dibs on all kits um, and those kinds of things. So. So anytime I come out with a kit, it's posted in the VIP group first. And we'd love to have y'all. We do have a lot of fun. Y'all, I keep flinging those everywhere. You know, and we try to help y'all because even, you know, I've been doing this five years and I made some costly mistakes when I first started. Right. So we try to help y'all as much as we can. We're not a business coaching group at all, but we will teach y'all and those kinds of things on things that we may have gotten wrong um, or we could do better. Um so that y'all don't make those same mistakes and y'all even like we push them to think outside the box post your wreath in in other places um places you would never think to post um get yourself out there more um so you will see me um doing like three craft shows in april because i was like well how can i tell these people that they need to put themselves out there when I'm not really doing it myself. So I am stepping up and doing it myself and doing three craft shows in April. Um, so, you know, just kind of little things like that. It's a very supportive group for sure. Hello, hello. Yep, you definitely don't have to have a business to join, even if you just do it as a hobby. There's tons of people in there, Becky, who just craft. They don't have a business. Um, they donate, you know, tons of stuff. Um, and they just, you know, kind of do this as a hobby. So not everybody in that group is a business. Definitely not. Sometimes, you know, we're just so fun. That they just come in there to laugh at us every day. Right? Because we're funny. Hello from Dallas. Go Cowboys. Because y'all know I'm hilarious, right? 
what other boards call that you use. They are unique in the creek boards. So they have ovals, they have rings, they have the large flower board, small flower board, they have the candy cane. Um, they have so many things, the rectangle. Yeah, and Lynn is our official stir the pot. So Regina even came up with our official song. <laughs> Yep, a lot of our girls just make wreath attachments, all kinds of stuff, y'all. All right, two more, y'all. It goes quick. Sorry, I got still got fuzz I'm finding from doing the watermelon wreath the other day. Hello, hello. Last one, and then we'll get all of that ribbon fluffed out. Thursday. Lynn, go to bed. <laughs> See, she's already stirring. <laughs> All right, last one, y'all. So I'm going to lift each side up and tuck this one in. Fluff now. Keep snagging. Jets are flying. Yeah, I can't wait for the air show. Now that we're on this side, sorry, y'all. Um, now that we're on this side of Smyrna, we're on the same side as the air show. So I can't wait. Like the Blue Angels were practicing last week or the week before. And we just had a bird's eye view. It was awesome. Good morning, good morning. Oh, I think Monk's here.
Yep. So there we go. There's our base. This big empty spot will be our bow. So let's make our bow. I'm live. So our sign will go right here and then we'll put a bow right there and then y'all can decide nah <laughs> i decided for you no no flowers i keep trying to use them but every time i want to use them i'm like nope all good okay so we're gonna make a bow So we're going to start with our one and a half inch. I know in that beehive cute, the blue angels fly right over the house and practice. It's really neat, but very loud. Yes. Like the windows like rattle. Oh, look, we have a troll. His name is Guy Gregory. Everybody tell Gregory hi. The ground shakes. Yes. You know you're doing good when a troll comes in, right? <laughs> you know you kind of made it. Yes, both of these ribbons are wired. I never use unwired ribbon. going to come in. I do have another one of these if I run out because there, this was a partial roll. Hello, Chris. Gregory, everybody's saying hi to you on TikTok as well. And don't you love it when they use like a a, a, a a military picture, like they're all in uniform, got the hat on, like really, come on, just let me see your real face. Mickey, I've been I've been getting these for a long time and they're all uh, a lot of them are the same picture over and over. Or some kind of surgeon, yes, a doctor. It just drives me nuts. Oh, we're actually going to have enough. Now here, I don't mind that bees are going up and down. It's not a, like a true directional because bees can fly down. So I'm not really worried about that. I just have an extra piece. I'm just going to add it to the bow as an extra tail. He's blocked now. 
darn it. <laughs> the sign came from Craft Outlet, I believe. Grab a pipe cleaner. Up. Or exactly, Catherine. <laughs> oh, goodness. Alicia, I just think they don't know any better. Bye. We'll see you tonight. Oh, that's so stinking cute. Look at that. Where do I go? There is a pent post at the top of my page um, with the link. The same matches. See, they all they all use the same daggone photos, man. And it just irks me. It irks me. And then we'll get it fluffed out a little better. You never make ugly bows. Oh, thanks. All right. So let's, so our bow is going to go here. So we're going to kind of angle our sign. So I think we're kind of going to go kind of there. So we're just going to find two holes. which is sometimes not so easy. Yeah, right here on Facebook, I have the link. Or just message me and I'll send you the link. Now, this one's not a kit. I will have a kit available for y'all tomorrow. And it does have a B Senna. This is on the oval board. So you can literally, you know, just find a hole, add your, um, your sign. So these boards definitely make that easier. 
because there's literally holes everywhere, right? <laughs> Still make them the old fashioned way, but your hand, yeah, I love that stow and go. So it does break apart. So if you need to travel with it or anything like that, um, you can, and it's still small enough. All right. So let's fluff our tails out again. Yeah, it's all right. One tucked in under there. Another one tucked under there. There it is. I usually try to bring those out, but I didn't even think about it before attaching my sign. There we go. And then our bow will go right there. The loop was hiding down there. And there's a two and a half and a one and a half. Let's trim up our tails. You got your peacock? Yay! I know there's a shorter one in here. Did I get it? Oh, I did. Missed the long one. Hello, hello. You're working on a peacock too? Peacocks are fun. I love the collars.
Do you sell kits too? I do sell kits and they're all different price ranges. Um, they're, uh, but they're, they'll be available on my website, monkeyscreations.com. I usually try to do at least one a week. Now that I'm back in the swing of things again. Um, so at least one or two a week. there you go look how pretty that is y'all there you go there's the back. So we use 10 pieces of mesh cut at 36 inches. We use nine sets of tails cut at 14 inches, our sign, our bow. Once I'm happy with it, I will twirl these up, put them back into the hole so the, the back will be flat. We will add our zip tie for our hanger right up here at the top. Can we see the back? Oh, there you go. There's your back. So that's what it hangs from. Any kit on military air force? I don't have a kit yet for any military. I will have some patriotic for sure. Oh, and there's your wreath. There you go. Now I, I will show you the centers. I already have them all packaged up. No, actually I left one out for myself because I have to use it. So here is the center for the kit that's coming out tomorrow. Isn't that pretty? And it will come with this ribbon. So that'll be this week's kit. All right, y'all. That's all I've got. Well, thank you, Brenda. That's all I got, y'all. Um, VIP, we will see you tonight for Wreath Critique. The rest of y'all, tomorrow... Um, I am up on Unique in the Creek, um, so I will not be live on my page. I will be live on Unique in the Creek tomorrow, um, so come join me there, um, and then and then I'm off the weekend, which means I'll still be working, but computer work, so that's all I've got, so y'all have an awesome day. And I will see y'all tomorrow. All right. Bye, y'all.